You slag! Uh, get off me! Uh, I said leave me alone! You worthless cow! Uh, I'll give you something uh, to glee about! Mom? It's okay, pet. Just stay in the other room. Most of us don't even want to think about violence in the home, much less raise the subject with our patients. As dentists, however, we are in a unique position to spot the signs of domestic abuse. Last year in Scotland, there were over 49,000 incidents of domestic abuse reported to the police. On average, they attend one incident in Scotland every 10 minutes, and no one knows how many cases go unreported. In 2008 alone, 11 women were murdered as a direct result of domestic abuse. Let's hear from an expert. Domestic abuse in this country affects one in four women, so a quarter of women will be abused at some point during their life. And probably about 10% of men, actually, because we're not just talking about um, women being abused by men, we're talking about men being abused by women, and also men abusing men very often. The Scottish Government are, uh, have responded to this problem by encouraging healthcare professionals to inquire uh, with regard to domestic abuse. But simply by inquiring in the first instance, uh, healthcare professionals may be able to help. The unique position that dentists are in is that they see their patients regularly. I didn't tell my dentist everything, but I'm glad he brought it up anyway. It made me think about doing something. I used to kind of pretend the beating and the punching wasn't real, that it was happening to somebody else, that they loved me really. But the dentist talking to me was a real wake-up call. I honestly didn't think that anyone cared what was happening to me. My dentist showed me that I was important, that I was worth something, that I didn't deserve the violence. I rang the number the dentist gave me. I mean, things still aren't perfect, but at least I'm out of there. Domestic abuse isn't just about physical violence. It causes immense psychological damage too. It shatters homes and leaves children scarred. As health professionals, we have a duty to help where we can. Ask, validate, document and refer. Useful steps to getting a patient to a point where they realise they are not alone, they have nothing to be ashamed of and that they can do something to stop the cycle of abuse.